Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the Kindergarten Sabbath School class. I'm so excited that you've joined us today. Our lesson is called Seven Special Helpers. What do you think about working together to help people in need? Our Bible story today is about some special people who work to help others. Our memory verse is taken from Romans 12 verse 13, which says, share with God's people who need help. And our message is, God's people work together to help others. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, please help us to work together so we can help others. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's sing, I am a C. this up. Are you ready? Here we go. I am a C. In our story today, the Greek believers complain that their widows are not being as well cared for as the Hebrew widows. There are so many new people joining the church and so much work to do that the disciples become too busy. They decide to choose deacons to care for people who are in need. They chose seven good men to look after those who are poor, sick, or elderly. We're going to listen to the story of seven special helpers now. And remember, boys and girls, pay special attention so that you can answer the questions after the story. Do you like working with your mom or dad while you make a cake or wash the car? It's more fun to share the work, isn't it? A long time ago, some people were chosen to help the apostles in a very special way. What is all of that noise? Peter asked. <sighs> Matthew sighed. Some of the new believers are arguing again, he answered. What are they arguing about? Well, Matthew explained, some of the believers who are not from our area, the ones who speak the Greek language, well, they're complaining that the widows in their group aren't getting as much food to eat as the Hebrew widows. A widow is a woman whose husband has died. It's so sad to hear them argue. Well, arguing is wrong, Peter said firmly. Let's call the people together and see what we can do about this. So that is what they did. When the believers were gathered together, the apostles stood up and spoke. We have an idea. We apostles do not want to stop our work of preaching and teaching the word of God in order to serve food. So pick seven good men, men who are wise, men who are filled with the Holy Spirit. We will put them in charge of giving food to the widows. The believers smiled at each other. Hmm, this was a good idea. It was a good solution. 
So the believer set about choosing seven men, and they chose very carefully. They chose men who were wise and full of the Holy Spirit. They chose men who were honest and truthful. Stephen, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas. The apostles were very pleased. They gathered around the seven men and laid their hands on them and prayed. This meant that the seven men were being set aside to do a special work for God. The apostles prayed that God would bless the men and help them take care of the widows. So the apostles were able to continue their own special work of praying and preaching and teaching. More and more people heard the word of God. More and more became believers in Jesus. All kinds of people believed. Shopkeepers and farmers, weavers and sandal makers, even some of the priests from the temple. All the believers were important in the family of God, and the poor widows who needed food were loved and cared for. We can be God's helpers too. What can we do to help hungry people? What a wonderful story. Peter and the other apostles needed helpers because there was too much work to do by themselves. These new helpers were called deacons. The deacons took care of the widows. This way, the apostles were able to tell more people about Jesus. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our questions. And our first question is, who was arguing? The correct answer is the new believers. They were complaining that the widows in their group were not getting as much food to eat as the Hebrew widows. All right, boys and girls, good job. Let's move on to our second question. How did the apostles decide to get fair treatment for all the widows? If you said they appointed new helpers called deacons, then you're correct. Great job, boys and girls. Our final question is, how many people were chosen to be deacons? And the answer is seven. Just as the deacons in our story were able to help others in need, so can we. When we bring our offerings or take some food or clothing to community services, we're helping to care for others just as the seven deacons did. Do you remember our message? Let's say it together. God's people work together to help others. It's time for prayer and we will sing the Lord's Prayer together.
Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls. Look for ways that you can help someone this week. Remember, we worship God when we work together to help others. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.